I've been wanting to get away from acetylene gas for a while now, given how expensive it has become, especially when using small MC-sized tanks that they just don't last very long, and then you're constantly refilling at $50 a pop, um, at least in my area. Um, so anyway, so I've been wanting to switch over to oxypropane for brazing purposes. And rather than getting tips, and then I would, uh, if, from the tips that I saw, um, I would have to get an adapter for my Uniweld torch. And then before I knew it, like the cost rose to $150 after getting a few tip sizes and so on. Just the adapter was ridiculously priced. So on AliExpress, I stumbled across these H01-2 torches and they're only $14. And I didn't see any YouTube videos of anybody covering these torches. And so I didn't know if they'd just be total junk. And um, so I just wanted to put this video out there because I love using this torch. It's great. And at 14 bucks, it can't be beat. So um, a couple things about switching over to oxypropane real quick. You need to make sure that you get type T hoses because um, propane gas will eat into type M hoses and type M hoses are the kinds of hoses that you most commonly find with oxypropane. I mean, uh, oxyacetylene. And so uh, you don't want to use those hoses when switching over to oxypropane. So just keep that in mind because the propane will eat through the type M fuel lines. Um, the other bit about it is the, the barbed ends for the uh, oxygen and the uh, propane or fuel gas because these torches can also be used with acetylene. But of course, like I just talked about, I don't care about the acetylene so I didn't get acetylene tips for these but you can if that's what you would like to do um, anyways uh, the hoses that I got are quarter inch ID and the size of the barbed ends are six millimeter and so the hoses are slightly larger being quarter inch but it's close enough that if you use a clamp that is put on there nice and snug, uh, it's not an issue. I used wire type clamps to make it um, just better for handling. If you used uh, worm drive clamps, um, you would just need to also make sure that they're on there nice and tight, but given the small space and the short handle that comes on these, uh, that would get uncomfortable after a bit of use. So that's also something to take into consideration is how you would go about clamping the hoses on there. <laughs> Quick rundown of the construction of the torch. The torch is mostly made or maybe all completely made of like a brass type material. A couple of things to consider about that is after some use it almost seems like the tubing portions of the torch both on this side and then the tip assembly are copper and just plated with a brass-like material. The cast body, um, I believe, is uh, completely a brass material. Um, 
oh, the bits that are not um, brass and that are ferrous on the oxygen side and I are the uh, retention nuts for the uh, needle valves. Um, so the retention nuts and on the oxygen side, the needle itself is mildly ferrous. Um, so I don't know what it's made of, but, and it's on the oxygen side, so that's not an issue. The fuel side, however, is all brass other than that retention nut, but it's, again, on the outside, so that's not gonna cause an issue. But on the inside, the needle part is a brass material and is not, has no uh, magnetism. The, uh, let's see, the tips, the threading is M6 and uh, sets of five extra tips are available and I got a set for six bucks. Um, but if anybody is aware of other tips that are M6 thread, please leave a comment and let people know uh, about the, any other tips that might go with these. I didn't measure the threading of the tip assembly itself. Not that that really matters because the tip, um, I didn't see the uh, tip assemblies sold on their own. Um, but considering how low cost the torches are, um, yeah, that doesn't matter. But if there are other assemblies and somebody is aware of it, uh, that'd be nice if you left a comment letting people know. I want to demonstrate the slot that is in the needle valves. If I press on the oxygen knob, you can see how it cuts off the oxygen and changes the flame. 
And if you're using the torch and you press it up against it, it will change. Um, once I've attached the hoses, I hold the torch further back. And so I have not found that to be a problem. I went ahead and cleaned up that joint with an angle grinder, but before I show that, if you would please consider subscribing. I plan on, uh, on my next video, showing my setup where I've converted over to a one pound propane tank so that the setup uh, remains nice and compact um, versus having like using like a normal barbecue 20 pound tank which is a pain in the butt to lug around and that kind of thing um in addition i'm going to take one of these torches and i'm going to solder the 9 16 the normal hose uh thread connectors so that way this torch could be used in conjunction with any other torch so if you had this one set up on oxypropane but you were still you know you had another torch that was acetylene and you didn't want to buy another hose um you know you'd be able to just move your hose in between the two uh so here's the joint turned out pretty good especially for such a small torch and the hunk of metal this is. Um, this torch really wasn't designed for doing this kind of thing. Um, I actually caught a, a pinhole right in the center of the joint. You might be able to see that. Um, but more than enough power out of this thing to be able to get a chunk of metal like this up to brazing temperatures. Um, this upper piece is quarter inch steel. The T is one eighth inch left over from previous uh, test brazes that I was doing. But that just adds more metal, you know, acting as a heat sink. So it demonstrates uh, the oomph that this torch can put out, being able to get this up to the brazing temperature needed. 